we finally made it out to the Salton Sea. You guys, it's pretty shady. <laughs> <laughs> it's like close to 90 degrees. There's a faint smell of, I don't know what that smell is. It's like kind of like sulfur, but sort of like dead a little bit. It smells like chemical and dead and like sea waste kind of all rolled into one. Um, not to sound like a total psychopath, but if I was gonna murder somebody, I think it's probably where I'd do it. Did you hear that, babe? Good. <laughs> a lot of birds out here, a lot of birds. And um, the Salton Sea is huge. This thing is ginormous. It, I can understand why they actually call it a sea. All right, so we finally made it out here to the Salton Sea. And the first thing I noticed is there's a ton of dead fish just all over the place. I mean, just like troves and troves of these dead fish. The Salton Sea is actually a lake and it's the biggest lake in California at 375 square miles. So you might be asking yourself, how did this giant lake end up in the middle of the desert? Well, we're actually in this area called the Imperial Valley. And back in 1905, the Imperial Valley wanted to start using their land for farming. So they redirected water from the Colorado River through the Imperial Canal to irrigate this land. But then in 1905 and 1906, there were more heavy rains than expected and more snow in the mountains than expected. This led to the Colorado River flooding, hence the Imperial Canal flooding. One of the levees broke and the water started rushing out and it flooded the city of Sultan, which was 266 feet below sea level, creating the Sultan Sea or really the Salton Lake. The one issue with the Salton Sea is, is that there's nowhere for the water to go. It doesn't have anywhere for it to drain out of. So all of the chemicals, all of the salt, all the minerals, all of the sediment that comes into the Salton Sea sits here because the only way for the water to go is up through evaporation. So over time, this body of water has became more salty and more polluted. The salinity level is 5% currently, which is 30% saltier than the Pacific Ocean. Only certain kinds of fish can live in that type of salinity. And those are tilapia and the desert pupfish. The desert pupfish can live in salinities up to 7%. The lake currently is at 5%. Although, again, because of all the uh, fertilizer and all the runoff that ends up in here, I don't think any fish is gonna live for much longer. I gotta, I gotta make as it, it smells kind of like hell out here. It smells like a mix between dead rotted fish, like rotting, almost like sewage, like baked sewage. All right guys, see you next time.